Hey guys, I'm Chanmi and you're watching The Art of Science. Do you think this ball can levitate on its own? Turns out it can. What helps us to actually levitate this ball is a very essential principle of physics known as the Bernoulli's principle. In 1738, a scientist named Daniel Bernoulli observed that a stream of moving fluid, that is air or water, experiences low pressure. In fact, the faster the stream of fluid moves, the lower the pressure drops. Basically, if the velocity of moving air or water increases, the pressure decreases. Here, I have a funnel, a ping pong ball to go inside it, and a hair dryer. Let's see what happens if we blow air from the bottom. Shouldn't the ball fly upwards like it did last time? Well, let's see what happens if we blow air from the top. The ball literally jumped out of the funnel. Well, here's where air pressure comes into play. Air always travels from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. Here's a way to show that. Simply tie a thread to a ball and let it suspend from a height. Now take the hair dryer and blow air not under the ball but besides the ball. What we have done is create a stream of moving air besides the ball. So now this column has low pressure and the area near the ball has relatively higher pressure. And so, the ball will get pushed into the low pressure column of moving air because air always travels from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. If we keep a strip of paper on the chin and blow air from our mouth, we have created a stream of moving air with low pressure. Now, comparatively, the pressure under the paper is higher and therefore, the higher pressure pushes the paper upwards towards the lower pressure. Before we see a bigger version of this, why don't you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. To take this to the next level, you can make this cool toilet paper gun and basically make the toilet paper fly. I have linked the video up here and in the description box as well. The same applies when we blow air between two balloons. The low pressure is between the balloons and the higher pressure acts from the sides towards the center and pushes the balloons closer. This is exactly what happened in the funnel too. When we blew air from down, we created a lower air pressure under the ball. And so the high pressure air from the top of the ball kept pushing the ball back down into the funnel. But when we blow air from the top, we create a low air pressure on the top of the ball. Now, the relative high pressure underneath the ball pushes it upwards. And in the case of a levitating ball, the leaf blower has created this vertical zone of lower air pressure. Now, the pressure on either sides of this zone or column is higher. So when the ball starts moving out of this column, the higher air pressure outside pushes it back into the low pressure column of moving air. In fact, Bernoulli's principle plays a very big role in aeronautics. The wings of an airplane are designed in such a way that air flows faster on the top of the wings and slower underneath the wings. This creates a higher pressure underneath the wing which pushes the airplane on top. You can make this hand helicopter and the cylinder plane which functions on Bernoulli's principle all by yourself. I have linked the instructional video up here and in the description box as well. If you have any doubts, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next week.